fourth quarter of the Royal Farms Game of the Week brought to you by your friends at Lax World. Go to laxworld.com and get all your equipment, apparel, and your swag. Lax World, they've been in the game for decades. Great locations. We got a face off there to start. Interesting because McDonough had a. I don't. I always thought flag denoted possession, but I. This is my first game, so I'm just trying to feel my way through it. And the penalty expires now on IMG, and they're going to opt to double the ball. Barrett Sutley now running a little bit for his life. And Jackson Morrill now runs for it. With eight seconds now on the clock. And you see the toughness of this IMG team. Robert Clark carries, and we are now even. 10 to 7, your score. IMG leads. Morrill finishes. Yes, to Robert Clark. Morrill to Clark, and it's 10-8. Love that assist by Morrill there. Showing some great vision. Clark, easy finish there. Jackson Morrill just accelerates. The slide comes. And IMG got twisted up in the doubling from the penalty because they were man up, but on defense, they chose to double. And sometimes that gets people in the wrong spots, wrong matchups. And McDonough able to capitalize 10 8. McDonough on the comeback. Ground ball picked up. Zeke Narcisse comes up with it, gets it over to Jackson Morrill. And McDonough with all the momentum right now. And IMG needs to make sure they don't commit any fouls. That's where they have started problems. Robert Black back up to Sutley. Sutley with a hitch move, carries. Connor Young comes out. Shot goes wide. Referees getting plenty of assistance. Oh, great swim move by Clark. Shot goal. The pick on goal line extended, and it's now 10-9. to Eagles on the comeback. And I was talking about how Clark was silent, yeah. and now he's scoring those two big goals in the first two minutes of the fourth quarter to come within one. Like we we'll have a great fourth quarter on our hands here. And it starts with face-offs. Facing off for McDonough. I want to say it's Noah McCoy, but it isn't. It is Chris Wilson. And McDonough comes up with a loose ball. B.J. Farrar. Farrar has it checked away. And IMG, they simply need to just complete some passes right now. Even in the defensive end, any completed pass would mean a lot to them. As they need to settle some things down. Here's Como. 9.32 to go. Fourth quarter brought to you by your friends at Lax World and LaxWorld.com. If you need lacrosse equipment, you need a great deal on a starter set. Lax World has everything your young lacrosse player needs. And moms and dads, get your gear and apparel there too. LaxWorld.com. They've been in the game for decades. Inside feed knocked away. Ball never got to Foster Como. And now we have a ground ball, hot, sloppy mess. 
Nice pickup by Farrar. Here's Danny O'Connell. And Shinsky now quickly with it up for the Eagles. Mike Shinsky touches it in and hustles off. Jack Parr saving possession for the Eagles. It's a crescent defense here by IMG. Sticks all over the place. They're up one, they're playing like they're down two. <laughs> Here's Jack Parr inverted against Massey Bucci. Now Connor Young gives it to Clark, the hot hand for the Eagles. They like that pick at goal line extended for Clark. Clark gets a step on the inside, shot goal. Robert Clark taking this bull by the horns. That's how he handles his business. Great game we have here. Now 10-10. Under eight to go. Love seeing a senior, four-year starter, just step up and score three straight here. Clark really has been tremendous this year. Donna Eagles, the only blemish on the record, an overtime loss to number one ranked Haverford. Chris Wilson, once again, getting work done, shot, save Max Smith. Blown away by how well he's played today. 7.20 to go, fourth quarter. Very efficient clearing by IMG. French and Como playing pass here on the near side. Seven minutes left, Royal Farms game of the week. We've been fortunate with the quality of play. I was unsure of how IMG would respond to a tough few days in a shootout with St. Augustine on Saturday and then an overtime loss after being up five, as I mentioned, yesterday in New Jersey. And Played a great game, although falling apart late. McDonald is taking advantage of their turnovers here. Zeke Narcisse with that one. Zeke, the long stick midi. Getting a stick in there where people don't expect it. He just makes the checks. Ball goes down. He twagged. Narcisse, a game changing LSM. More of a close defenseman, but he's been crucial for the Eagles between the lines on the wings. Great transition as well off the Duke. In a few years. Here's Jackson Morrill with six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Ball goes on the turf. Corraled, and here's Sutley. Rob Black against the long stick. It's an urban Jack Park gets it back. Shot by Black wide. Jackson Morrill draws the slide. Shot over the cage. Fourth quarter brought to you by LaxWorld, LaxWorld.com. Get online and get all the apparel and equipment you need. And if you're looking for some swag, check out LaxWorld.com. Jackson Morrill maintains possession there. And this is Sutley. Sutley gets a step, loses it, flag flies. And this is where IMG has to maintain their composure. Not a good foul to take. Just how precise McDonough's EMO has been lately. McDonough's EMO, they love that little, I mean, they do the same play everybody else does. It's not a, I mean, we're not reinventing the wheel here, folks. Keep it simple. Yep. Sutley behind a moral. Under five minutes to go in a tied game here on the Royal Farms Game of the Week. 
Surcharge free ATMs. And there's your play. Shot. I don't know if that hits Smith or Iron. But either way, Max Smith, goaltender for IMG. Earned to the respect of everyone in attendance. Rob Black lets one go. Thirty seconds remaining in the foul. Clark top center. Still working it up top. Five seconds to go on the man up now. Black down to par. Blake Gray in the inside open. Great skip pass by Clark down to Morrill. IMG kills off the man down, but they still have to match up defensively. Clark draws the slide, gets it to Morrill. That goal line extended pick. They used it a couple times. IMG now accustomed to it. Ball picked up, and we got a fast break for IMG. Early pass, the French give and go. Can't handle the return. And Nanakoke will come up with that loose ball, no doubt. And he might just go straight to the cage. Foster Como wanting it on the wing. And we get a timeout by IMG. Royal Farms game of the week. Thriller with 324 to go fourth quarter. Brought to you by Laxworld and Laxworld.com. 324 to go, tied up at 10. What a game. We haven't had this much excitement since Pat Sartori scored the overtime game winner in the first round of the playoffs against St. Mary's back in 2008. On this field, he destroyed the upper corner. Bucci behind. And now they look to get it up to Hudson with three minutes to go in the quarter. Excuse me, in the game. Fourth quarter brought to you by Laxworld, laxworld.com. French comes off a little under dive shot goal. Acceleration, domination by Ben French. Eleven ten. Let's be honest. That might not be the last goal today. Chris Wilson has been a force for McDonough facing off today. Oh, that's uh, now we get Tyler Leota. Clamping down, and Bucci will start with it. And this is where, Ty, Nanakoke and Foster Como, the attackmen for IMG, if you press out on them, you might as well just throw the ball in your own goal. <laughs> They're going to make you pay. Yeah. They are dangerous. Be very curious to see how McDonough handles this because they got to press out and make something happen. But the weapons, they have to do it to the right guy at the right time. Here's Hudson and French, no slouch. Inside feed, handled well, shot goal. Frenchy connects with Mitchell Laffin, number 18 for IMG. And that puts them up to Laxworld, Laxworld.com. The Royal Farms game of the week tie. That's a good lacrosse. Yeah, I think the, the last two possessions have been great for IMG. Taking care of the ball, making smart plays. Love that play between French and Laffin. And I beg your pardon, referees for today's game, Jeremy Beckwith, Chaz Reinhold. And David St. Hubbard. 
Derek Smalls, your official timekeeper. And of course, the big face-off win. IMG try to get a timeout there. And now they're going to get it. Fernandez comes out with it. And they now they get the timeout call. And the IMG bench is a little bit excited about what they have cooking now at McDonough. They're up by two. Fourth quarter brought to you by your friends at LaxWorld, LaxWorld.com. This is the Royal Farms Game of the Week. I tell you, just like the Moyle and Seinfeld, I'm scared to walk back to my car. I mean, somebody might hit me over the head, knock me down to the gutter, and I'll be there sitting later. Heaven forbid somebody pick up their phone and dial a couple of numbers. It's too much. I'll be laying there like a mangle, like a mutt, like a dog. IMG coming out of the timeout. Foster Como with it. <laughs> Guy's got a great stick. Tremendous legs. Fine athlete. I like the decision. <laughs> Coach Schatz with a great decision. Como does one full lap. And Ben Smith, now we're going to get an interference call with 110 left in the game. The Royal Farms game of the week. They, whoa, whoa, we got to restart there. That is not how it works. That is not how it works. It's not a flag. Like, I, we have a lot of high-level D1 retired officials in the stands helping the refs today, which is fantastic. But in this instance, the ball needs to restart outside the box or at midfield. But to blow it right there and give that, – that, that wasn't the right way to restart it. If it's interference – They're just going to say, do it again. <laughs> Whatever. That's that's fine. They still have a minute and 10 seconds with which to operate. <laughs> Almost miss it again. A great play by Armand Medgulci. And he gets it to Farrar. And Farrar's going to go for a spin. Robbie Black gets it in. And now it's Blake Gray rolling. And we get a decleating on the far side. Errant pass, and Sutley steps over just in time. And Connor Young comes up with the ground ball, and we're going to get a timeout by Coach Hillgartner. 30 seconds left, 12-10 your score, the Royal Farms game of the week. We know how to pick them. Coming out of the timeout, Connor Young starts with it. For the Eagles, they get it behind a Robert Clark. Goal line extended pick. Clark comes around. Sir, all the way around. Shot just wide. 18.3 left. Jackson Morrill with possession now. Jackson Morrill's got to go straight to the cage. Rolls behind. And that's going to draw a flag, although it could be irrelevant. Blake Gray shot. Goes wide. Now we'll take time for the foul. And Blake Grace got a little shoulder. I didn't see a big hit there. Royal Farms game of the week. Time we're gonna think who's that player of the game today? Obviously, IMG goaltender Max Smith. I think that's an easy call there, and then you know, pick whoever you want when it comes to IMG attack. I'll do some math. And on cue. IMG finds a way to get the job done here at McDonough. A great athletic event. Royal Farms, real fresh, real fast. 